Welcome back to Inside Builder channel, large language model automators, chatbot experts, and my dear friends. We are discussing the data extraction ideas from the Rasa chatbot framework. This is the second video in the three part video of data extractors. We had discussed about the duckling entity extractor in the earlier video, and here in this video, we will discuss on creating the HTTP REST API endpoints that is using the Rasa uh, chatbot that we create, we want to convert that into HTTP API endpoints. How are we going to do that? We are going to use a very simple command for that. Let's go to the command prompt right now. Usually when we are testing it, we will be testing it using the Rasa shell. In this case, I have already built the Rasa uh, chatbot, uh, the data bot that I had already discussed in the earlier video. And if I do a Rasa shell right now, it will actually load the various models, the parameters, etc. And it will start the server in this particular 0.0.0.0 uh, port. And then uh, it will be giving me an interface directly in the terminal itself. But we cannot actually ask the users to work in the terminal. We have to give them a, uh, give them a very good looking uh, interface and for that good looking interface we usually provide the internet explorer or the browser so you go to the browser like this and uh, you come here and you give a chatbot interface like this so now if i try uh, let me actually refresh this page so that uh, it, it will be like this and if i click this and if i say hi you'll see that it responds to uh, the response of the chatbot is that i am facing some issues please try again later because the server is not running. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stop this server, stop this shell right now, and I'm going to configure the Rasa server now. So I'm going to say Rasa run. And in this case, I need to first of all create the, uh, I have actually modified the endpoints here. So I have to show you the endpoints.yaml file and the credentials.yaml file that I will be doing next. But as of now, you need to provide the endpoints switch endpoint switch and you need to select the endpoints.yaml file and you need to say enable api so this is very very important once you say enable api only the entire process will work and you also need to say hyphen hyphen course because at this moment i am also trying to work with the http server from my local server so this will actually create a conflict so that's why I'm enabling the uh, course uh, CORS also switch also and I'm uh, enabling it for all the IP addresses. Once I do this, then the Rasa server will start, but this time it will be enabled as a, uh, this time it will be enabled with the API. How will you check whether this server has been enabled as an API? First thing it always comes to your mind is that, okay, let us go to the uh, browser and uh, directly uh, let's check it. So if you go to the browser and uh, if I if I open a new tab and if I say 127, so 127.0.0.1 is the local host, which is also same as 0 .0 0.0.0.5005. So both are same. You will see that uh, the server responds hello from Rasa. That's all. So if you have to actually access the uh, individual uh, uh, individual uh, models and the model outputs then you need to access the web hooks so in order to access the web hooks we have to further modify certain things so let us go to the endpoints so let's open the endpoints and in the uh, let us open the endpoints as well as the credentials so there are two things that i need to show you guys let us open the credentials.yml file so first in the credentials.yml file we need to enable rest so in line number five you need to ensure that the rest is uncommented then only you can actually use the chatbot as the api endpoint or else you will not be able to use it second thing is you have to know where the uh, model is hosted and how you can access it so for that you need to first of all use the webhooks so in order to access the webhooks, it is always better to use the applications like HTTP Pi. Uh, this is a this is an open source application. You can uh, get the necessary details from the internet itself. It's called HTTP Pi. And uh, once you get the application 
downloaded all you need to do is you need to create the variable the variable that we are going to create is you have to click on the incognito space this is the first thing that you need to create and once you create it you will see there are lots of uh, variables that you can create in the variable space give the variable name so i am saying new variable and in the value you need to provide this particular value the localhost 5005 once you provide this what will happen is you will be able to get the necessary data so the necessary data like you can get the status so if you want to get the version of the rasa chatbot that is running you have to just call the base uri so you have to use double curly braces like this and you need to give the variable inside that this is how you need to create it the benefit of creating the endpoints like this inside the http pi is that you can actually save this and you can run any number of times you want and if i say send right now you'll see that it is able to send the it is able to connect with the server and it is able to get the version details let's go back here just a minute sorry about the disturbance and if you come to the server that we are running you will see that the server is not giving us any kind of feedback because the reason is we are not debugging we are not giving any kind of debug switch to the server so if you use a debug switch here then you will be seeing all the information that the server is sending to and forth let me now close this server i mean stop the server and let me enable the debug mode so to enable the debug mode all you need to do is double hyphen and debug so you will see the entire length of the command is a little bit longer so let me debug now now it is going to enter into the debug mode and you will see there are lots of things the server is telling to us and it is also giving a lot of uh, logging back to the user and all the logging is in debug level you can see that also this is how you uh, uh, this is all simple uh, python code that is running in the backend which is enabled with the debug uh, setup right now you can see the rasa server is up and running and uh, the core routine debugging is up also up now let us go back to the http and let us send this we again send the request and we got the output and let us go to the terminal and you see still there is no any kind of changes here what we are going to do is we are going to make uh, further uh, further uh, steps in this server so let us go back and let us get the stats so in order to get the stats we are going to use the status so slash status here and send it you will get the status of the server and then you are going to say chat hi so when it comes to any of the chat interfaces then you need to use this particular endpoint so you need to use webhooks rest webhook so this is the endpoint that you need to use for using the model chat endpoint this is also one of the key uh, link that we need to understand when you are going to use it in the front end let us now send this and you will see that the um, um, chatbot has provided the response and the same way here i have already coded the link and i am going to send this and you will see the chatbot is able to provide the response let's go back to the server and in the server to our surprise there are lots of things that is happening here in the beginning we did not see any kind of data right in the beginning when we started working on the uh, when we started getting the status it was not giving us any input but the moment we started connecting to the web hooks it starts working so here we were actually at this location but the moment it's moment a user conversation is started so it starts issuing a ticket for test user it's acquiring a lock so you see there are lots of things happening here and we will be seeing how to use these things and uh, how to get access to the data that the user is providing to us so that will be the discussion in the next video following going further you can uh, also see what kind of uh, the model and how the models are uh, getting uh, get looking at the data and uh, how the output is provided back all these things we can see you know in in the open so this is how the server is running in the back end i am not going to dive uh, very deep into this i really want you guys to actually understand the idea of how to enable the api endpoint in the rasa chatbot and how to use uh, the webhooks 
and then finally how to use and configure it in the front end chatbot see at the end of the day we need to configure it into the front end right now if i say hi to this particular front end the same front end where it was facing issues at earlier now it is saying got some data that you want to pass so it is actually the chatbot is responding to us if you go back and if i am going to provide this particular input so we are looking for 23 human supporters with 56 animal habitats and you'll see that it is able to there is no phone number that we have provided but we have provided the email id and we have provided numbers so it is able to extract all of these things so in this particular discussion we actually saw how we can enable the rasa chatbot into a api and how to uh, you know connect that rasa chatbot to the front end and also we saw how to use http application to work with the api endpoints you will be still wondering but how did i connect the rasa chatbot server to this particular front end how, what happened actually so in case of uh, uh, in case of rasa front end for the chatbot front end there are many widgets that is available so this is the rasa forum that i referred to and you, you can see a list of uh, widgets that is available here i'll be sharing this link also Chris Rahme had shared this particular uh, series of uh, uh, web chats and as well as the mobile Android uh, chatbot uh, frameworks that is available out there. And I had used this chatbot widget by Jitesh Gaikwad. If you go here and if this is actually a GitHub repo, you can download the repo and in the repo itself, he has explained what exactly needs to be done. All you need to do is go to the, uh, go to the docs inside the docs you need to sorry not the docs sorry you have to go to the static you have to go to the javascript here and in the javascript in the constant.js you need to provide your uh, the uh, localhost link url once that is done and uh, the chatbot will be up and running after that you will be able to start working with the chatbot directly so interfacing with the front end is actually not that much of a difficult task but you might be still wondering, but uh, what if we need to work with different kind of a front end? How will we be able to do it? So I really want you guys to take a look at various web front ends that has been provided here and do some exploration. Most of these, uh, uh, the links that has been provided here is very user friendly and you can easily understand what's going on in the back end. If you are having basic JavaScript knowledge also, you will be able to understand how to proceed further do stay do let me know if you have any questions or comments i'll be able to help you and uh, provide you some feedback so i believe that you understood the steps that is required to get the rasa chatbot into an api fashion and how to test it and how to connect it to the front end so all these discussions and uh, points we had covered in this particular small uh, discussion uh, video till the next video where we are going to discuss on how to use the sqlite database or various other databases to store the user details stay tuned and practice whatever we have learned till now see you guys have a great time